enjoy golf. Today I am at Wheel Dream Golf and Leisure. Uh, Wheel Dream is a fantastic little place actually. It's a grassroots golf, so it's a very much a pitch and putt type par three course today on a hillside, so it can be quite tricky at times. Got great accommodation here, they've got fantastic lodges just behind me here. You can see family kind of set up here. Got a brilliant restaurant, brilliant family restaurant as well. As you know, I'm recovering from a slip disc. I'm just out with myself today. Cut the virus spare. This is in Helston, by the way, so it's not very far from where I live. And I thought, well, let's go and just swing a few clubs today. Yeah, that's how we get on. Nothing special. Just a little bit of grassroots warm up golf today. So first hole, like I said, it's a short one, 74 yards. Play off the mats. They've also got football golf here and rugby golf. So the football course is also part of the same area. So you'll, you'll see different holes later with obviously larger holes and places for those flags. Let's just get this out, see what happens. No real worry about score today, just on a course having some fun. Well, that's not too bad, actually. Well, we'll go take a look. That's all right. Gentle start. So actually, that was pretty good. It's kind of pin high. Um, just bumped into the, the course manager here on, on the uh, mower, because obviously they do everything. It's a, it's a small business, so they do everything. Um, there's a few issues with uh, some of the fairways right now. Not a problem in the mower, but hey, I will say, these greens are better than I played on Sunday. I'll tell you about that in a bit later too. So, we're probably going to come back here and do a proper little Cornish Quest kind of match play thing. Maybe me and one of the other gentlemen on the channel. The chat today is just me coming back here, getting reacquainted with the place. Yeah, always going to be a bit tricky through that thick stuff. Come on, we'll take a three, won't we? Very good, happy with that. So, let's crack on to hole number two. They get a bit longer now. So, as we walk along, I love these kind of places. I, I really enjoy the kind of grassroots golf environment. So much more relaxed. I'm way overdressed today with proper golf shoes and stuff on. It's very much a, a holiday maker place. Like I said, they've got great chalets here and accommodation. It's near Port Flevon, which is another Lovely kind of holidaymaker area. And uh, well, it's just relaxing, isn't it? You can get out a couple of hours, bunch of holes, job done. Nine holes, I think this is, remember rightly. Watch out for the old rabbit hole. We're on the hillside after all. But let's go and uh, find a tee for hole number two. Now, I'll tell you right now, if you think this course is easy, you got it way wrong. This is hole number two. Behind me, I've had just walked up there because I must have got a bit lost. And you'll see some footage where I'm showing you three other holes which are on top of the hill. In fact, there might be four as well. So, hole number two is back the way we came, but it's longer, it's 107 yards. But look at that slope. I've straightened this camera because we're on a sizable hill here. Hit it high, roll it down. Flag is, well, over there, hopefully you can see. Right. Well, it's gone a bit left. And it'll go left. Oh, we may have got away with that. Didn't get the distance, but see the worry? When you go left, it's going to sweep down. We'll see. We'll see. Okay. Second hole, one ball lost. Bounded down the slope. Dry conditions. It's gone down there. Forever and never to be seen again. So I'll put a ball down because we're just here to practice. Green's up there. Ball seriously above my feet. Brush the grass, John. Get up. Get up. Oh, j just. Just got up. Tough place. Even setting the tripod is tricky because of the slope conditions. Actually, you know, that's not bad. It's okay. We're only practicing. Ah, 
And the putty's still doing okay. So, got to hole number three. So we've come through this little bit of woodland, a little woodland path, as you can see. And uh, this is your next T position. Now, I'm not sure which hole. I think it's that flag there. And that's what we're going to go for. But quite frankly, I'm not 100% sure. Like I said, there's definitely one over here somewhere as well. But further around, you can't quite see. So we'll set it up and go for that one. It doesn't matter. We're just practicing. No one else on the course right now. So I've had a look up. I'm, yeah, I'm pretty sure it's this hole, this flag. So I'm just going to hit it out of this. It doesn't matter about playing as a par three, play it as whatever, what we want to do. Well, it's low and it's skimmy. So we'll go take a look. Go take a look. Okay, so this shot's a little bit precarious, certainly for the camera. So I hope you can actually see me. Very difficult to line up on a slope like that. Get it over the bump. Hopefully, on the green. Well, it's up and over. It's where I need to be. Round away getting there, but we got there. So, I've just literally had to plonk this hat and put it down to my head, because it's very windy up this bit. So, we're gonna have a go for a putt. Oh, didn't read that very well, but that's okay. A two putt on every hole, on any course, I'll be happy. Let's go and find hole number four. After this hole, we'll have a little discussion about, well, the guest who's come back on the channel. I will say that being a hilltop course, it's beautiful. Views are lovely, absolutely lovely see why people want to stay here in the lodges okay well the sign says 92 i'm really not sure about that because quite frankly i've just walked down quite a slope but we're going to take a six iron and get it up there at the top of the hill and then have a little chip on or whatever again one of those horrible thin ones but it's at the top oh not good right now john not good some days you've got to take the luck haven't you that was a really ugly shot, a really ugly shot. And yet, look where I am. If it wasn't for the camera, you wouldn't know I got here. Still a horrible putt, though. It's going to be a tricky one down that slope. Had to stuff to go through first. Certainly wouldn't want to pitch it. Oh, go on, go on. Oh. Well, I'm glad the hole was there to slow it down. Could have been all the way down the bottom. No, no. Ooh, around the houses. I know the corner's quest is a scramble, but hey, I think I'm scrambling now, right now. So, let's get to the 50 and we'll have a chat. Now, I've said that this course is not easy. That's the fifth green. Bunkers, small green, and a serious slope going uphill to the T lot. Let's have a go anyway. So this hole says hole five, 85 yards. We're going nine iron, just gonna get it up the hill, over the marker, see where it goes. Bit better, John, bit better. Not the best greatest, but hey, you know, all about that back, all about those hips trying to move right now. So, before we carry on, before we go and find out what happened to that, I'm gonna take you to a little place, well, near me actually, say little. We're off to Cape Cornwall Club. Now the reason we're off there is because I had planned to do a diary video on Sunday. Today is Tuesday. I had planned to do a diary video last Sunday because there was a charity day being organized by Man Down Cornwall, who are the charity that obviously we are supporting in our charity day. So, Neil, Nick, who you've just seen in the West Cornwall videos, and myself, and a special guest, turned up. However, 
not that many other people did. There was a problem with the A30, as in a lot of people thought it was closed. Where a cape is at St Just, it's just about the farthest point of Cornwall you can get, so a lot of people got put off. Um, so it was pretty tricky to kind of film. Also, the wind was howling, and plenty of people know right now, Cape Cornwall's greens are not, not the best at the moment. They have had a few issues over the winter. They're trying to get it sorted, but I didn't think it was fair to really show much of their course right now. We'll wait till they've improved it again, and then we'll go and uh, do a proper course vlog there. However, Badger is back, even if it was just a one hole. What's the first hole we played? It was uh, supposedly Texas Scramble, and uh, it was uh, obviously people all over the course on a shotgun, or supposedly, but um, we started from right at the back. It's a par five. Take a look, a bit of fun. Hi, Bill. Hello, John. Welcome to your old home course. I know, it's been, it's been a while since I've played here. You're an award-winning junior here. We haven't got the photograph anymore, mate. Don't worry, it's not embarrassing. Club champion, 1999. There you go. Yeah. 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 Welcome to the other two, <laughs> Nick point. and Badger. Good job, Badger, back, isn't it? It is, yeah. I haven't seen him for a while. Well, but we'll find out how good it is after he's hit a few shots. Yeah, yeah. Um, so don't expect too much. Well, we're not expecting much of anything on the day apart from having a bit of a laugh. Yeah. Yeah, that's what it's about. It's all about, it's all about man down, all about the charity. Yeah, all about let's, the charity. Let's talk today, about exactly. it. So, um, unfortunately, a number of people haven't attended because they were due to close the A30 this weekend. Yeah. And it's all gone a bit pear shaped. They kept it open in the end for the Royal Cornwall show. Well, or? they would. They should have kept it for this one because obviously we are in St. Just, we are in the far end of nowhere. We are. Yeah. <laughs> and course wise, we're starting on the furthest yeah. point from we the clubhouse. Are. <laughs> we are, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> So, they obviously uh, don't like us. Well, well, maybe they don't like us. <laughs> um, we haven't done a course vlog here for a while, and we have to kind of get back. I know, yeah. Not sure what the course is going to be like today, we'll find out. Yeah, we'll see. I say it's been a while since I've played here, um, but yeah. The views are still amazing, I and know. that's the important thing. I know. In fairness, the course, we haven't played anywhere, anything of it yet, but it's looking good. Should be okay. It's well defined. Well, we'll, be, company, well defined, though. but that's all we need to know. Yeah. So, um, any other news you want to tell us about, Neil? No? Did you buy me some jelly babies today? Cause I, I, I did, I got you some jelly babies. I hope you picked them up. I put them I on did, your back. Yeah, you I did, got yeah. them. Thank you very much. Yeah. 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 It was a slight got, hinting. Got your own teas, have you? Yeah, I got my own teas. Well done. There's a little bit of a hint, though. You get a message. Oh, I haven't got any jelly babies. That's Sad jelly face. Babies. Oh, I'll stop and get some jelly babies on the I, way. I couldn't actually. Well, my wife said, don't you dare contact Neil and say he's going to pick you up. Can you go and get some jelly babies? And I thought, well, I'm not actually going to say go and stop. I hope in my annual review I get above and beyond. Yeah, you yeah well, you've got much try harder at the moment, but you know, keep going. You're doing well. That was school life. Yeah, well, that's true. You used to go to the school here as well. And I did, yeah, you? yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I was educated well. It, it's a bit weird, lads, because you're in a car with him and he's pulling up and winding w w the windows down and going, all right, love, how you doing? All right, like, people, whatever. It's like, like they all know him, like he's some sort of star in St. Just. <laughs> so, we're going to crack on, we're on hole number seven, par five. Yeah. What a place to start. I know. Did they put any banners out for Neil? Welcome home, Neil. Yeah, they should have done, shouldn't they? Welcome <laughs> home, that'd all be cool, wouldn't there. it? Neil's back. Probably by the, the, the pasty shop. Line yeah. the streets up there. All the girls cheering. Oh, <laughs> you're them holding up babies going, do you recognise him? <laughs> well, I, I have got to admit, I have seen a few right here There's thinking, well, you never know. <laughs> little, little Neil with an eye here. I spelled with an A, Neil. <laughs> oh, don't lads, it's the shaky enough camera as it is. We've only got a camera, we're running and gunning today just for a bit of fun. So it's just a little gentle diary video to try to support the charity today. That's it. Let's, let's crack on, shall we, gentlemen? And hopefully, at a golf ball at some point on this video. They're going all over the place here. Well, they're going all over the place because none of them actually know where they're going. No. Well, uh, there's about ten teams, and not one of them knows which hole they're going on. I think on. that's because their tee shots are like 300 yards apart. I would say I think they, they just <laughs> sprang it well. Well, luckily, it's a big, expansive space it is, yeah. for for this part of the course, anyway. That's why I played well here as a junior. Well, that's true. Now the question is, where the hell am I hitting it to? Right, this just is your fairway here. See that buggy? Yeah. You're yeah. following that one. The flag's right in the right in the distance, mate. Don't worry. Oh, Badger's back. Let's see. So don't even worry about that. Just aim for that big green expanse. Just aim there. for the big. Yeah. You got a buggy up there. Yeah. See the buggy up on oh, the top, yeah. over, the, over the other side of the hedge. That's where you want to go. That's where I'm going. Okay. <laughs> oh, it's like the blinding the blind. It is, isn't it? Well, that's a great yeah, shot, Badger. Great shot, Badger. Just watch the bounce. Watch the bounce, and they may go down to the other fairway. 
And that's very good, mate. Straight up, that's just that straight little down the corner. Yes, yeah, just. You've been having lessons, haven't you? Just literally on the edge, edge of the rough. Well done, well done. A great tee shot. Welcome home. It's a great tee shot. As befits our channel, as befits this golf day, very few people have done any practice. Yeah, that's a great shot too. That's perfect. I take that. Yeah. Oh, I think I think well. might be taking yours. All right. So I'm still resting my back a little bit, so I'm not going to go for this one because I don't need to at the moment. Not going to beat either one of those probably. To be honest, we don't really know the rules today either, but that's kind of the laid back for us it is. Well, that's got a long way. That's got a long way. Let's go and find some balls, gentlemen. So Neil's just doing a little zap. We took Neil's because, well, let's be honest, that went a hell of a long way. Although, well done, Badger. Great, Thank you. great start. Welcome yes, back. Nice to hit it straight for a change. Nice to see you on the energy drink. You've only just hit first shot. Well, well I'm working up to it. <laughs> <laughs> it's lunchtime. That's true, it is. Yeah, Dick. Yes, it's hello. not an early morning start, mate. No, no, no. Not you love wide this? awake. Wide awake. Half past one in the afternoon and we're playing. No, it's lovely, isn't it? Great, isn't it? Well done, mate. Another great shot by you. I know, but but, but when Neil hits a good one, yeah, we, we have to leave it, don't we? We have to go there. I understand on what way you hit it. So I know where to go. Are you not tall enough to see that little fluttery? Well, I can see a little fluttery thing. Oh, can you? That's, that's all right then. Yeah, not that I was criticising <laughs> well, your height. I didn't know if that was the fluttery thing I'm aiming at. Well, hopefully. It's that one, the one that Neil just one rocketed one straight, just at. Just yeah. straight at. Yeah. That's the one, yeah. We're probably taking Neil's shot as well. Uh, it's a bit yeah. short. It's quite a bit of wind up there. I love it when he goes it's short and it's probably as far as I'll ever hit. We have to try a driver. Is anyone going to get past Neil with it? Yeah, I was going to say, we're going to drive off the deck. He hits an iron, you know. Oh, no. nothing, nothing wrong with scuttling on the ground on this course at the moment, this wind. No. That's really bad. You want to go left? Follow the fairway up there. Yeah. Alright? Because it will pick around to the right. Roll, yeah. Did you trip up then, Neil? You alright? You alright? Yeah, I'm alright. You never swore. <laughs> it can't be that bad, it is. Alright! Alright! Yeah, right. Right. Yeah, right. Yeah, it'll be fine. Thank you. So, who's is this one? Badger. Badger, yeah. yeah well luck. done, mate. Well done, Badger. Mine, you're going across. You've really got to try to judge, but with this one, you can fire it in a little bit more. Yeah, yeah. That's all right, Badger. Okay. It rolls on. on it. Go on, keep going. Well, it's dropped. Right when it comes to the green. Okay. Yeah, it's dropped. The cookie there in my back, mate. Plan. Whether it did the plan or not, I don't know. That's very high. Like oh, really? About the same place, actually. Yeah. Yeah. I have no idea why I'm talking because yeah. the wind noise will be horrendous on this video. Wind is really kicking already. Well, that's kind of about it. Oh no, I can see that one, so it's on the green. It's a good kick right. Why did my kick there? Well, they've all kind of dropped down towards the green, haven't yeah. they? So, yeah, right. We'll see. We'll see. Well, there were four balls on the green. You don't see that very often in one of our videos. Wind is horrendous, so uh, we'll just do what I can with the film. <laughs> you and your blooming lessons, mate. You're lowering the tone of the channel, you are. Go on, put it in after all that. I'd love it, I would. Show us how fast these greens are today. Yeah, I've got no idea, so this is a real guess. That's pretty good. That's the perfect pace, mate. Well done. Wobbly. Carry on, mate. You ready? In the Very good. Haven't hit it again. Looks online. Go on. 
Yay, well done. Well, I think we'll start with a birdie, gentlemen. I might not have to borrow the putt. It's the Badger and Neil show. The Badger and Neil show. Well, would you believe I overshot? Now, a little dinky nine onto the green, hopefully. Bunkers here, bunkers here, bunkers over there, like I said, you know. Tough little course. Oh, a bit of speed, you're gonna roll away. Wow. Get that in too, I'll be happy, man. Let's go and set it up. So I was so excited that I overhit a green for once in my life. I forgot to say, welcome back, Badger. He played very, very well. We, uh, I think we came fourth, but it was all very close. I think we ended up four under on the course. And uh, if you played Cape, you'll know there's some very quirky holes. And like I said, the, uh, the greens, a little bit of guesswork going on there from time to time with a ball bouncing left and right, left and right as it went along. Still, we had a lot of fun. That was the most important thing. That's the thing about charity days. It's not about who wins, although some people do take it more seriously than others than some events I've been to. It's about raising awareness for whatever charity you're supporting, giving generously, helping them make some money, and just having fun. That's the whole point about the big Oggy golf day. And uh, as I film this, there's just a few spaces left. In fact, I've sold a few today. So there may be some left. You need to contact me on all my social media very quickly if you want one, okay? £55, Strathorne Golf Club, 27th of August, Tuesday, 27th of August, the day after Bank Holiday Monday. We are literally full now, okay? Contact me for details. Go and try and hit this putt. So good to have Badger back, honestly. Shame I didn't have the camera on all the way around because he hit an amazing shot on the uh, 17th par three, 200, 200 plus yards to win about eight foot of the flag. He could do it that boy sometimes, you know. It got up there. That's quite a slope. That'll do though. Two pot on every green. I'm a happy man. So the quirky nature of this course is that hole 6T and hole 7T are right next to each other. Uh, there's hole 7 flag up there and hole 6 flag there. So in reality, what I'm going to do, I'm going to tee off on hole six. I'm going to tee off on hole seven. We'll chop them all together when we get the other end. Okay. So hole six, 100 yards, little nine iron for me. Into a strong headwind. Oh, as you can see. Yep. Don't like a challenge. Well, like a challenge. I think that's very good. So hopefully now you're seeing on a bit of footage. Uh, the ball for the seventh, which is just a bit short. Interesting green this, the sixth, it's got a downhill slope, it's got four areas of kind of waste ground I guess with long grass on them. We're going to go a seriously 60 wedge. Bit thin, oh that's going to run a bit. Yeah, left right, left right. Okay, I brought the pot with me, I'm going to go six iron, just try and dab it onto the green and get it running a little bit. It's pin eye, but it's not accurate. So, a bit of a putt to get that in. Let's turn this around a second, or just see if I can, I'm in shot. Yeah, we're in shot, that's okay. Right. Still recovered though, didn't I? Still recovered, John. Greens might look a little bit bobbly here and there, but actually they're really good. They are really good. So much better than Sunday. Hold number seven is 128 yards. 
Just going to knock a seven iron up. Get a bit closer so we can play the other shots. That'll do. A little bit on the left. Bounce a little bit to the right. Oh, still going to the right. Could be very nice. We'll take a look. So, I'm actually going to take the same shot as did last time, but longer. It's in a little six iron dab. It's, uh, well, it's about 40 yards. So I've got to get on the green. Bump and run it, John. Bump and run it. Well, that's pretty much pin eye. There you go. Bump and run. Always works on linksy stuff. So, still got a decent putt. But, hmm. It's going to be good if it goes in. Slightly straight, with a little bit of a right to left. All about the pace. Whoa, nearly, nearly. So we'll take that. Another two putts on a green. Now, hole number eight, strangely enough, is literally back where we just started on those other two holes, but it's past the hedge. So we've got to go that way anyway. Another walk. Now, before we walk down that way, that's the eight green there. Right there. Okay, we got hedge, hedge, and the tee is down there. So it's a long one, this. Certainly for a pitch and putt style, of course. So, like I said a minute ago, this is a serious hole. 169 yards, with trees in the way, with stone walls in the way, with bushes in the way. And you can either go straight for it, across the angle, or you could probably go straight out there and do it as the second shot coming in. We can set this up. Now, 169 yards, well, that's a seven wood for me any day, because it's normally about a 170, but it's going to be off the ground, off of this mat, and um, got to get past those trees. So, if it gets out there and it's safe, that's okay. Well, actually, that's pretty good. That's actually right at it. Oh, we'll go and take a look. We'll go and take a look at that one. Taking me a bunch of holes to warm up. So here's the green. Took a bit of finding. The ball is down there on the left, down the slope a little bit. So I'm going to obviously hit from there, but I'll set the camera up at the back of the green. You may see me, you may not. So hopefully you can see me on camera. Pinky nine up, and hopefully a putt. Well, dinky nine up, go on. Oh, dinky nine up. I got a bit excited then, I'm sorry. If I had a sound engineer, <laughs> he'd be screaming now. I'm going to take that any day. Now, Last hole, very quirky, love this little hole. So if I'm right, and I think I am, that's where the flag is. Okay, that's where the flag is. Look at all the protection though. <laughs> Bit fast that, sorry. And this is where we tee off from. Get that in three, <laughs> I'll be seriously lucky. So I'm going nine iron and hitting and hoping really. Uh, before we carry on any further, Charity days. There's a lot of captain's charity days out there. There was one at West Cornwall on Saturday. We were there on the Friday. We all put a load of money into the raffle. Didn't win anything. Didn't matter. Well done to Lester Pickover, who's played on our golf day before regularly. In fact, he was one of the winners on our golf day a couple of years ago. And um, he was captain of West Cornwall Golf Club this year. And he's raised well over £2,000, him, his wife and his helpers, for the uh, Stroke Association, I believe it is. His wife's had some health issues recently, so uh, he picked that charity. Well done. Now, well, you can kind of see the flag. All right, let's see what happens. Well, that's straight at it, but straight for the tree. Oh, I don't know, it, it caught the tree, but I didn't hear it like clunk anywhere. Let's come and have a look. Well, they do say, wobbly camera, sorry, hand-holding, that, uh, well, they do say that trees are majority air, although that's an awful lot of uh, leaves on there right now, but I didn't hear a clunk, so let's hope. 
speed this up a little bit. We'll go and find out. Oh, hang on, hang on. There we go. Well, we made it through. Yeah, made it through. That's very nice. So, we get this in a three. I'll put a tenner into the charity as well. Chip and a putt. Oh, that was a weird bounce. That reminded me of somewhere on Sunday. Mm. Okay. Well, strangely enough, the slope isn't quite as bad now, but it is seriously over there. Oh, close. I'll pop a tenery anyway. Pop a tenery anyway. Because that's what it's all about. Raising money for charity, having some fun. And today here at Wheel Dream, thank you very much to the owners and the staff here for allowing me to come and film today on a very impromptu day when they've not prepared the course ready for the holidays, etc. And the weekend. Been a good day. Charity doesn't always begin at home. Quite often begins on a golf course or a golf club near you. Please subscribe. Please hit the notification bell. Come and do all those things. Come and join me here on Big Eye Golf, wherever golf takes me. See you soon, everybody.